Today we're getting our Tesla PowerShare installed in our house. If you don't know, this is the hardware that enables bi-directional charging so you can power your house from your truck and your truck from your house. So the whole idea of this is so that you can keep your house running in the case of a power outage, you can keep those essentials going, you can keep your kitchen on, maybe your office, lights in your house for two to three days. It really depends on your kilowatt hour usage and your typical usage. But because the Cybertruck has such a massive battery, I'm hoping to be able to power my house for two to three days. So when I placed the order for my Cybertruck, Tesla had me fill out a survey, put a bunch of information in about my house. They take that survey information, they send it to a local electrician who looks through it, basically to make sure that you're eligible for this power share technology. So once you check all the boxes there, then they reach out to you, they'll give you a quote, and basically get your equipment in and then set up an install date. So we've been working with Trout Electric for the last couple months. They've been awesome. Let's go check in with them and see what they're up to. So I'm here with Scott. Scott, can you tell me a little bit about the system, how it works and what sure. we're dealing with? So what we're installing here is the new PowerShare gateway. Um, the way this will work is we're gonna install a 100 amp breaker at the main panel. Uh, that is gonna supply our gateway. Um, what this gateway does is when the power goes out, there's a, an automatic switch in here that is going to disengage and allow the truck to power everything downstream from this. That way, no power flows back out onto the utility side uh, to, you know, if they're working on the, the grid out there, nobody gets hurt. Um, so everything behind this will get backed up. Uh, the next thing my guys are going to do in here is we're going to come out of here. We're going to install your backup loads panel. So everything that we're going to bring out of the main panel for the loads we're going to back up is going to get relocated into the new panel. Um, that way, anything that we leave in the main, it will not be energized if in the case of a power outage, but everything we relocate uh, would be. So um, that's where we're at right now. These are the power lines coming in from the main. Uh, there will be new power lines coming out of here going to our, our backup load panel and then uh, communication power going over to our universal charger that they're working on back there. Okay. They don't have it in yet, but uh, the power's run, the communication's there, just waiting to get it all tied together. Um, so what in the house will be backed up and not backed up with the truck? Good question. So usually when we, when we do the survey, when we email you guys and you send us pictures, we're gonna right. look at the, the panel. Um, there's a couple things we want to see the, the AC stickers, mm. you know, we have a truck that's on a 60 amp breaker. Most homes have a 200 amp panel. Okay. So we are, we can back up everything. Um, but we are kind of limited to what sometimes can be, uh, you know, on an AC system, if the, the breaker for the AC is over 50, 60 amps or the LRA rating is over 110, mm -hmm. uh, we cannot back it up because that's all the truck can handle. So right, it would right. not be able to operate. Mm -hmm. Our main focus usually is, you know, the Wi-Fi, the, the living room, the, mm -hmm. the kitchen, the refrigerators, yeah. um, basically give you your, necessity. your necessities, <laughs> you know, in a power outage. I mean, Hopefully you only have power out for an hour or two. Yeah. You know, what is it going to take to, to keep everybody happy, you know, for that, that short period while you're running the truck? Is there ever a situation where you could just back up everything? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there is. Um, we just did one uh, the other day that we backed up everything. You know, if everything falls in, in good, you know, they have one AC. If mm -hmm. those numbers on the AC unit are, will allow us, um, you know, we can back up everything for sure. Um, being mindful to, you know, you have a 200 amp, we're mm -hmm. only running a 60 amp circuit. So, I mean, you do kind of have to toy with, you know, not running the AC while you're trying to cook your dinner yeah. and running the pool. Equipment. You have to balance the load yourself. Then. Correct. Yeah. It. So, um, it does have a safety in it where if, you know, the load does become too much, it will set, shut the system down for a second to mm. not, you know, hurt anything in, okay. in the truck or the, the, the system. Um, and it will reset itself. Mm -hmm. So. So here we are with the final install. I think it looks super nice. This is the Tesla gateway. It has the Tesla branding, super beautiful, shiny glass front. And then over here is the sub panel. And then this is the raceway, which basically just hides all of those wires. And I think they did a really great job. And then what we have here is this is actually our old Tesla wall connector that we used to have over here. So if you come over here with me, I will show you. We now have the new Tesla Universal wall connector. This is required to do the bi-directional charging with the Cybertruck. It also did come with the Foundation Series Cybertruck. Um, you can also purchase it on their website. But what's really cool about this is now there are two ways to charge electric vehicles. So of course, you pull it out and you have the standard Tesla NACS charging port to charge all of your Teslas. But 
let's say you have a non-Tesla or your friend comes over and needs to juice up, but they need to use this charging port. This pretty much charges every other electric vehicle. This is the J1772. Um, you just plug them right in and you can use your same connector. So that's really awesome. So now the moment we've all been waiting for, we are going to test the system out. We're gonna pull the Cybertruck in, basically simulate a power outage and see if it works. So our, the Cybertruck does fit in our garage, which is a s small standard garage, I guess I would say. But for the sake of this video, we are just gonna pull it like halfway back so we can see. All right, so she is plugged in. Okay, so Corey is going to go flip the breaker to simulate a power outage. And we're just gonna see how long it takes for the truck to power up back up the house. And we're gonna check. We make sure that power's out by a couple ways. This is our garage fridge in here. So we can check to make sure that light turns on and off and then our washer and dryer and our lights in our garage. So that will give us a good, okay. So the power just went out and it went back on. That, it was that fast? Was that legit? That was literally instantaneous. I hardly even got a shot of the power out. That was crazy. Was that real? Wow. That was really fast. It was like, you guys saw that. It was like off and back on. Point the lights on the wall connector, when you charge your car from the grid, they go top to bottom. But now that we have the truck powering our house, it's a cool little feature there. The light is going from the bottom to the top. Oh, and then the cyber truck little emblem that glows is purple so i think that also signifies that you're using truck power and now let's go see what it says inside of the cyber truck because it should give us an estimation for how long it can power our house based on our kilowatt hour usage so what this is showing is that we are currently using 1.4 kilowatts of energy to run our house and we're just running our house like normal we're not trying to be conservative and so with our current state of charge at 78% and our lower limit set to 20%, that gives us 58% to play with and will allow us to power the house for about a day. So this estimate to us feels a little low. Um, we were expecting to get more than that. But again, the software is in beta. And so we would really have to put this to the test and power our house for a full day to really see what it can do. So final thoughts, I am super impressed when we simulated the power outage, the downtime from when the power went out to when the car started repowered our house was almost instantaneous, like literally seconds. I was expecting to wait around for like a minute or two, maybe at the low end 30 seconds. And so you can see from the video, it like literally took me by surprise. I thought maybe Corey like flipped the breaker back on and it wasn't actually real but it was real and that was crazy. So imagine like the power goes out in the middle of the night, you're asleep, your car is plugged in for the ability for it to repower up your house without really any lag at all is pretty amazing. Like you wouldn't even notice it. Um, so I'm very impressed with that. And yeah, so that's what you guys can all expect if you have the Cybertruck and you've, you know, you've set up your power share. Um, we have the beta software right now. Huge thanks to the Tesla Energy team for getting us that beta early so we can test it out. It's so cool. I can't wait for you guys to all get it. Hopefully it rolls out to everyone else pretty soon here by the end of the month. That's what people are speculating. So thanks so much for watching. If you like these kind of videos on tech, EVs, reviews, give us a follow, or I guess on YouTube we say subscribe. Um, I am obviously new to YouTube, but I've been posting short form content for years. Um, so check me out on all my other platforms. Hope this is helpful. And again, leave me a comment if you have any questions about the system or the Cybertruck. I'll be happy to answer those and see you guys next time.